Hey there! In the last units, you studied about what is data, information, information system, and how this is implemented using databases. Now, how is this distributed around the world and connected all over? Well, the answer is through linking information technology or using networks. In this video, we are going to study about data communications, network topologies, and network applications. Let us begin to understand the terms one by one. To understand data communication, it is important to know first what a computer network is. Well, when two or more computers are connected together using a telecommunication system for the purpose of communicating and sharing resources, it is known as a computer network. In simple terms, when computers connect and transfer data, they do so in a network. With the help of networking, we can connect millions of computers to support communication and computation in almost no time. Also, it is convenient to make information accessible to anyone, anytime, and anywhere. Now, what is data communication? On a network, when two digital devices exchange information by means of wired or wireless devices, it is known as data communication. This communication, when it is further between networks, it is called as internetworking. Now, how do we connect these devices? Well, we can connect all these computers with each other with the help of communication links. This consists of physical media, that is wires and devices, which include coaxial cable, copper wire, fiber optics, switches, modems, and routers, etc. Different links can transmit data at different data rate, that is bandwidth, which is measured in bits per second of the link. On the basis of this discussion, we can say that for communication between two devices, the basic requirements are, first, it is sender and receiver. At least two devices which are ready to communicate, say two computers or two mobile devices, out of which one will work as the sender and the other will work as the receiver, are required. Second is the transmission medium for movement of bits over a transmission medium by connecting two devices. Third is protocol. Protocols help to communicate. These are the standards on which two devices can talk to each other and understand the communication process. In simple terms, protocols are like a language. As humans, we need a common platform to communicate. Hence, protocols are also required by computers to communicate effectively. Fourth is standard data representation. It is so that data can be transmitted accordingly to international standards being set in order to maintain a simple structure. Now moving on next, let us see what are different types of networks. Well, all the types of networks can be divided into four main categories. First is LAN, also known as local area network. This connects a relatively small numbers of machines in a relatively close geographical area known as local area network. Usually it is between two kilometers. Second is MAN, which is metropolitan area network. They are large computer networks usually spread in a city. Or we can say that the communication infrastructures that have been developed in and around large cities make up metropolitan area networks. Wide area network is a network that connects two or more local area networks over a potentially geographic area which is large. It covers a broad area, for example, across metropolitan, regional or national boundaries. 
personal area network, on the other hand, is a computer network used for communication among computer devices, which includes telephones and personal digital assistance close to one person.